Hi there, this is Faye from Faze World Media, and in today's video, we're here to talk about Podcastle's Revoice, which is an AI powered voice generator to help you train your voice. That's right, it's not about using some uh, AI or some random pre recorded voices, it's your own. Hello, everyone, and welcome to my podcast. On today's episode, we'll discuss the advances of artificial intelligence in the world of audio and video production. Using the extraordinary power of AI, I can transcribe my content and then seamlessly make edits to the text, and the changes will automatically apply to the audio file. Back in November, when they were beta testing the feature, I already went ahead and actually recorded 70 different phrases to train my voice. I had a sneak peek into this. And as of January 24th, 2023, uh, Revoice is officially launched in the studio, so everybody can experiment that. I'm going to walk you through exactly how to record your voice, how to delete it, create different profiles. But if you're wondering, Faye, what's the point of recording my voice? Well, as a content creator, or in this case, maybe you're a podcaster, what you can do is train your voice through 70 phrases that takes about 30 minutes or so with very focused time. And then from there, you can create content right from your fingertips, right from your keyboard. You don't need a microphone. You could be anywhere. You could be at the airport. You could be waiting for your mom at a dentist appointment and boom, you have content. But you may be wondering how good is it? Is it really worth it? Well, here's my take on that through this video and I'll see you at the end of it. So it looks like there is an announcement here inside a podcastle. Revoice is officially out as of January 24th. And prior to this, by the way, I have already pre-recorded my voice following 70 different phrases and segments. It took me um, just a bit of time. You know, I was really focused. I think about 30 minutes or so I was able to go through it. And as you can see right now under my digital voices, my voice was recorded in November 2022. It's complete and uh, we can take a look. By the way, if you want to create another copy of your voice, if you're not happy with the current version, you can just click on this button and create a new version. Now, you could also have a co-host or two, and you basically can have more than one digital voice saved within your podcast account. Okay, let's create a new project. That's new. Let's just do something a little bit shorter, just these two paragraphs. And then click on Generate. Okay, the shorter paragraph took very little time, so let's actually hear it, what it sounds like. About Podcastle several times in the blog as one of the game-changing tools for podcasters and one of the fundamental AI-powered tools to help you grow your business in 2023. Recently, they launched some new AI features, one of them called Revoice. Podcastle Revoice brings generative AI technology to audio creation, allowing you to create a digital copy of your own voice. Yes, your own voice. Have you heard of Podcastle Revoice? We have talked about Podcastle several times in this blog as one of the game-changing tools for podcasters and one of the fundamental AI power tools to help you grow your business in 2023. Recently, they have launched some new AI features, one of them called Revoice. Podcastle Revoice brings generative AI technology to audio creation, allowing you to create a digital copy of your own voice. Yes, your own voice. Hi there, welcome back. Thank you for watching the video. What do you think? Please let me know in the comments below. So if you're scared that somehow AI is gonna just mimic your voice like nobody else could tell, I don't think we're quite there yet. However, I do see the potential of using AI voice or using revoice as a feature from Podcastle to record some repetitive tasks, such as certain ad blocks or certain sections of you know my podcast. In particular, sometimes I struggle to prepare or read content from things like Wikipedia or something that's highly scientific or philosophical, I have to really prepare myself for it. So even though I don't really see it as a tool to replace me entirely, uh, I do think it's beneficial for some other tasks. And that is for you to figure out based on your comfort level, based on the content that you're creating. With that said, what are the key differences? Coming from me as someone who has over 10 years of experience creating content, you know, nine years in podcasting, I can definitely hear the difference. For instance, my uh, excitement when I talk about certain topics, 
currently I don't see a way of changing the tone or selecting the tone like excitable or professional or very calm, very clear. So depending on the content I'm recording for uh, as feedback for AI, it will be great to really change the tone as needed. When the audio track is generated by AI, it tends to be a little bit flatter, more even, whereas as real human beings that our emotions just kind of ebb and flow, we change up the speed of our speech. It's not always constant, but when it comes to AI, I think it's trying to spice it up, making it sound realistic, but it's not quite at the human level. Though one thing I noticed at the end of that clip, that excitement does, you know, uptick a bit. So I was pleased about that. Again, revoice is definitely work in progress. I would encourage you to definitely explore it if you're into AI technology. And again, this is Faye. I am going to focus on so many different AI software this year in 2023. I would love for you to uh, share with your feedback and how I can help you as a creator, as a small business owner. If you like this video, be sure to check out this series about PodCastle to really learn how you can benefit from using PodCastle to create content. You can use your own voice or another voice AI generated that's available inside PodCastle to convert your blog post that's in text to audio and vice versa.